All right, I'm going to do this hopefully one-handed and not shake you guys to death here. Open source tuning. How would you like to unlock and be able to read and write and flash and all that fancy stuff? Tune your early 99 through 2007 GM ECUs. It's hard to believe these are about 20 years old already and nobody's come up with a program where you can crack into them and do all your tuning. How about we completely circumvent HP tuners and everybody else and do this stuff for free? Wouldn't that be great? Well, guess what? It's, uh, it's possible. Um, let me do a little explaining first before I uh, show you guys how I built a bench harness. A gentleman by the name of Peter Sontag, he's on LS1 Tech, he's all over the boards. He's about my age, I would assume. A few years ago came up with a program called LS Droid. It's for all Android-based operating systems where you can, um, using your cell phone or tablet or whatnot, um, using his app, you can download and read the factory uh, programming on the ECUs. This is 99 through 07 V8 only. Not 07 and up, at least not yet. You can download the program using your cell phone and upload it on your computer and unlock uh, and remove the uh, anti-theft. Set your timing, fuel curve, yada, 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 using a Tuner Pro, which is a free program. The only catch is you have to spend about 50 clams on the OBD Link LX Bluetooth reader. It's actually a pretty good piece of uh, equipment here. You can read uh, all different, uh, you know, using different apps or they have their own app. You know, you can have your own dashboard. It'll tell you, you know, your codes, check engine light, yada, yada, yada. You took it a step further and use the capabilities to actually read an ECM. Cool beans, right? We'll get to that. You need to build a bench harness, or you can use a, a donor vehicle. It doesn't matter. Your power supply always has to be like constant 12 volts. This is my brother's famous battery because it's already seven years old. It's probably just about dead, so we can't use it in a car anymore, but for this stuff, it's perfect. I tried using a battery charger for my power supply on this, uh, and uh, needless to say, it did not work. So, let's get to the meat and potatoes of how I wired it. Um, on the power side, I've got two leads. Yours can be different, and what doesn't matter as long as you have a power and a ground. In this case, my blue wire is my ground and my white is my power. And it's all soldered and taped up in this cluster, but as we go down, I'm going to show you how I wired the OBD2 port. Um, when you order them online or the junkyard or whatever, they come with five leads. Uh, red, which is right here obviously, that's going to be your power, 12 volt key. You have a black and a white, which are on the top by my pointer finger. Those are both ground. Two pins over, you have a purple wire. This is your serial wire, serial reader wire, which uh, on the blue connector, mind you, blue, it's number 58, the green. It's a dark green. Also, your red power wire, power going to the battery, and the ECM, it's going to be number 19 and number 20. 19 and 20 is one's 12 volt keyed and the other one's 12 volt constant the orange orange is constant pink is keyed always and it just happens to be in this situation i have an orange and black this is my ground it should be black for sanity's sake but the ground wire goes to number one on the blue connector so did anybody not catch that it's pretty freaking easy 99 307 ecm number one is your ground 19 and 20, 12 volt key, 12 volt hot, wire them together, it'll be going to your battery. Number 58, your serial lead, going to your check engine light. Ignore the brown wire on your OBD2 port. Red is power, black and white's ground. Purple is going to the green serial wire. And then obviously, 12 volt battery. Preferably, you need a constant source of voltage, or a source of power. Easy peasy. That's how I built my bench harness. It took me about a half hour. I mean, you can do yours however you want. I see guys selling these things online using like a simple cell phone wall adapter. I don't trust them. I mean, maybe they've had good luck. It depends on the charger, but I've tried different battery chargers. I've tried computer PC adapters, and I tried to use my Actron scanner here. Every time, it would not read. I could not get the PCM to read. So I ended up going with a battery, and guess what? 
no problem. I tried like hell to get my OBD uh, links here to read with my cell phone using a battery charger and a power supply. No bueno. Use a battery. Holy crap! The Bluetooth actually connected. It paired to my phone. You need a constant power source. Plain and simple. So, in this video, um, that was the meat and the potatoes of it. We're just uh, showing you how to build a bench harness for the um, for when you want to go to flash this uh, computer. I have no clue what I'm doing. When I uh, download the program on a Tuner Pro, my intentions are just to disable the anti-theft and I'll upload it. Um, I need to put this engine back together so I can use it as my testing guinea pig, but it's probably not going to happen until spring. Alright, so enough rambling and ranting. The next video I'm going to show you guys how to use the program on your phone and to read your PCM. Got it? Got it. And I will talk at you really soon. If, like and subscribe. Thank you and have a good evening.